Hello students, today we will learn the topic voltage multiplier circuits. In this session, we will cover the following contents. We will first understand the definition of the voltage doubler and the multiplier circuits. Then we study the different types of the voltage multiplier circuits like uh, voltage tripler and voltage quadrupler. Then we will see the working of the voltage doubler circuit. There are two types of voltage doubler half wave voltage doubler and the full wave voltage doubler. Then we will learn the working of the voltage multiplier circuit that is voltage tripler multiplier circuit and the voltage quadrupler multiplier circuits. Let's start with the voltage multiplier circuit. Voltage multiplier circuit is a circuit which will provide the output voltage and time multiplication of the input peak voltage when n is equal to uh, 2 then voltage multiplier is set to be volt as a voltage doubler n is equal to 3 it voltage tripler and n is equal to 4 is voltage quadrupler. So it will keep the transformer turns ratio unchanged. Basically any voltage multiplier consists of the ideal diodes and the capacitors combination to step up the output of the rectified output voltage. So let's define the voltage doubler. So voltage doubler is a circuit which provides the two times of the input peak voltage at the output keeping the transformer turns ratio unchanged. Basically, there are two types of voltage doubler we have. One is half wave voltage doubler and another is your full wave voltage doubler. Let's discuss the voltage multiplier circuit. Voltage multiplier circuit uh, are of two category. One is voltage tripler multiplier circuit and another is voltage quadrupler multiplier circuit. So voltage tripler multiplier circuit is the circuit which provides the three times of the input peak voltage at the output by keeping the transformer turns ratio unchanged. Again, it is made up of the diodes and the capacitors. Another category of the voltage multiplier is the voltage quadrupler multiplier circuit, which will provide the four times of the input voltage of the uh, at the output by keeping the transformer ratio unchanged. Please, the circuit which is uh, uh, used for making the voltage tripler and voltage tri quadrupler is common. Only the terminal output is changed with the same common circuit. So. Let's start with the different types of the voltage multiplier circuits. Voltage multiplier are of different types. It may be classified as voltage doubler, voltage tripler and the voltage quadrupler. Voltage doubler may be further classified as the half wave voltage doubler, which is the circuit diagram given here and full wave voltage doubler. This is the circuit diagram for the full wave voltage doubler. The, the circuit for the uh, voltage tripler and the voltage quadrupler is common, which is shown here. The assumption which I will take for uh, understanding the working of the voltage multiplier is that all the diodes uh, which I will use to make the circuits are ideal in nature and the capacitors which I am using in these circuits are having a very high time constant so that they will restore the charge for the particular number of the cycles. Let's discuss the basic circuit diagram of the half wave voltage doubler circuit. This is the circuit diagram for the half wave. Uh, voltage doubler circuit in which we have the transformer for which will supply the uh, AC input supply to the this uh, uh, circuit. These are the capacitors C1 and C2 and these are there are two diodes D1 and D2 which are ideal in nature and we will take the output across this load resistance through this terminal. Let's discuss the working of the half wave voltage doubler. So this is the circuit diagram for the half wave voltage doubler. So when the so they, uh, in the secondary, we have the in the first positive half cycle, diode D1 will be in the forward bias state and diode D2 will be in the reverse bias state. So we making the electrical equivalent circuit of this uh, uh, in when the diode D1 is in the on state, replace it by the short circuit and diode D2 is in the off state or the, in the reverse bias condition. So it is replaced by the open circuit. Now apply the KVL in this loop uh, in the clockwise direction. You will get the equation as plus Vm minus Vc1 minus 0 is equals to 0. Why it is 0? Because uh, we have replaced the diode by the short circuit equivalent. So if voltage across the diode is 0. So calculating the voltage across the capacitor as Vc1 is equals to Vm means the capacitor C1 will be charged to the peak voltage or that is Vm. Right. In the next negative half cycle, as soon as the voltage quality across the secondary has been reversed, diode D2 will be in the forward bias state and diode D1 will be in the reverse bias state. Let's make the electrical equivalent circuit. Since the diode D2 is in the forward bias state or the on state, it is replaced by the short circuit. And diode D1 is the, in the uh, reverse bias state or in the off state, so it is replaced by the open circuit. Just apply the KVL in the outer loop through the capacitor C2 and C1. 
you will get the uh, voltage across the capacitor C2 as equals to 2 Vm. Now apply the KVL in the outer loop as plus VO plus VC2 equals to 0 since VC2 is charged with the voltage uh, twice of the input uh, peak voltage Vm. So VO is equals to minus of 2 Vm. So as you can see the magnitude uh, across the output uh, terminal is doubled. So that's why it is called as the half wave voltage doubler. Let's discuss the next type of the uh, voltage doubler that is full wave voltage doubler. So this is the basic circuit diagram of the uh, full wave voltage doubler in which we have the AC supply through this transformer. We have the two diodes D1 and D2 and we have the two capacitors C1 and C2 and this is the load resistance across which we will take the output. Basically you are taking the output across the capacitors C1 and C2. So let's discuss the working of the full wave voltage doubler. In the first positive half cycle, diode D1 will be in the on state and diode D2 will be in the off state. So let's make the electrical equivalent circuit diagram uh, in which the on state model is replaced by the short circuit, diode D1 uh, is short circuited while D2 is in the reverse bias state so it will be replaced by the open circuit. So just apply the KVL through the capacitor C1, you will get that uh, equation as plus Vm minus of Vc1 equals to 0. So you will get the uh, voltage across the capacitor C1 as equals to the input peak voltage that is Vm. Right? Means the capacitor C1 due to the high time constant will hold this uh, voltage uh, peak voltage Vm for the next negative half cycle. In the next negative half cycle, as soon as the polarity across the secondary has been reversed, diode D1 will be reverse biased and diode D2 will be forward biased. So uh, just make the electrical equivalent. Uh, this diode is which is in the uh, off state will be replaced by the open circuit and this diode D2 will be replaced by the short circuit. Just apply the KVL through the uh, capacitor C2 and D2. There will be no current flowing through this diode D1. So you will get the equation as plus Vm minus Vc2 equals to 0. So the capacitor voltage will be charged to input peak voltage Vm. Note that uh, due to the very high term constant of the capacitors, they will hold the voltage sufficiently for the next positive half cycle. The output voltage for the full wave voltage doubler can be given from this circuit arrangement. We have seen due to the high time constant, both the capacitors C1 and C2 will hold the input peak voltage uh, Vm. That is Vc1 and Vc2, they are equals to Vm. So just apply the KVL uh, in this highlighted region to calculate the output voltage. So you, you will get the equation as VO is equals to uh, VC1 plus VC2 that is uh, VO is equals to twice of Vm. right? So you will see that your voltage at appearing at the output terminal is twice the input peak voltage. That's why it is called as the voltage doubler. right? So the time constant for the, these two capacitors are very high which will hold the voltages for the, sufficiently for the next cycles. And we have seen that the series combination of the C1 and C2 will give me the poor filtering action. Let's understand the voltage multiplier circuit. They are of basically two types, uh, voltage tripler and the voltage quadrupler. Basically the circuit uh, for understanding the working of the both tripler and quadrupler is common. So basic circuit diagram is can be given as uh, here in which we have the AC input supply uh, which is given through the transformer and we have the four capacitors C1, C2, C3 and C4 which has the very high time constants and we have the four diodes D1, D2, D3 and D4 arranged in this fashion which are treated as the ideal diode. So this is the common circuit of, uh, which we will be used for understanding the triplet and quadrupler because if we take the output across the capacitor C1 and C3, you will get the tripler output. And when you will take the output across the C2 and C4, you will get the quadrupler output. Let understand the working of the voltage multiplier circuit step by step. So step in step one, this is the voltage multiplier circuit we have uh, in which uh, in the first positive half cycle, diode D1 will be in the forward bias state or in the on state and rest of the diodes D2, D3 and D4 are in the offset. Initially I am assuming all the capacitors are dis, uh, uncharged and they are uh, the very high time constant. So making the electrical equivalent in this step, uh, replacing the on state uh, diode D1 with the short circuit and diode D2, D3, D4 which are in the off state will be replaced by the open circuit. So just apply the KVL in the clockwise direction, you will get the voltage across the capacitor Vc1 as the Vm, right? So the capacitor C1 will hold the peak input voltage that is Vm. 
in the next negative half cycle diode d2 will be in the on state d1 d3 d4 they are in the off state so making the electrical circuit replace the diode d2 with the short circuit and replace all the other three diodes with the open circuit model that is uh, off state model so now apply the kvl in this anti clockwise direction via c2 d2 and c1 you will get the equation as uh, plus vm minus vc2 plus vc1 equals to 0 uh, since the capacitor c1 will hold the voltage uh, of uh, input peak voltage that is vm in the first positive half cycle so replace vc1 by the vm you will get the capacitor voltage across the c2 as twice of the vm so c2 will hold the uh, voltage uh, that is twice of vm for the next two cycles in the second positive half cycle uh, we have seen the uh, from the previous two cycles that uh, capacitor c1 hold the voltage uh, maximum vm and c2 has uh, hold the voltage that is uh, equals to twice of vm so with this situation only diode d3 will be in the on state while rest of the diode d1 d2 and d4 they are in the off state so making the electrical circuit replace the diode d3 with the uh, short circuited and diode d1 d3 and d4 replace it by the off switch or uh, off state uh, that is open circuit right so just apply the kvl via c1 c3 diode d3 and the cc2 uh, since uh, these are in the on state diode d1 is in the on state and diode d2 d1 and d4 they are in the off state so this kvl equation will give me as plus vm minus of vc1 minus of vc3 plus vc2 equals to 0 so replace the substitute uh, the uh, required value as uh, vc1 as vm vc2 as a 2 vm you will calculate the voltage across the capacitor c3 vc3 as twice of vm so the capacitor c3 will hold the voltage uh, v, uh, twice of vm for the next cycle so in the second half negative cycle uh, the capacitor C1 holds the voltage Vm, C2 will hold the voltage of two bytes of Vm, C3 uh, will hold the voltage of twice of Vm as we have seen in the pre uh, previously uh, three cycles. So this situation makes the diode D4 in the on state or in the forward bias state while rest of the diodes are in the reverse bias states. So they are treated in the uh, as a off switch. So making the electrical equivalent circuit for this situation, uh, replace the diode D4 with the short circuited and rest d1 d2 d3 replace it by the open circuit or the off state model so just apply the kvl uh, via input supply uh, c2 c4 diode d4 c3 and c1 uh, as you can see only the diode d1 is in the on state and while d1 d2 d3 they are in the off state so just applying the kvl you will get the equation as plus vm minus of vc2 minus of vc4 plus vc3 plus vc1 equals to 0 so just substitute the value vc1 as vm vc2 as twice of vm vc3 by as a twice of vm so you will get the voltage across the capacitor c4 as the twice of vm that is vc4 is equals to twice of vm means capacitor will be charged with the twice of the peak input voltage right so uh, this is the step uh, after the two complete cycle now the out let's take the output of the voltage multiplier as we already have discussed that this is the sir common circuit for the voltage tripler and quadrupler so let's discuss the output for the voltage tripler multiplier circuit so voltage tripler output is taken across the capacitor c1 and the c3 as shown in this figure so the, as in the highlighted region you can see uh, when you apply the kvl you will get the equation as vo minus vc1 minus vc3 equals to 0 so replace the vc1 by the vm and vc3 by the twice of vm you will get the output voltage vo is equals to three times of the vm so you can see the voltage which is available at the output uh, of the this capacitor c1 and c3 is three times of the input peak voltage that's why it is called as the output of the voltage triple multiplier circuit right so uh, let's before discussing the output of the quadrupler let revise the uh, circuit diagram for the voltage quadrupler multiplier circuit this is the same circuit diagram which we have analyzed uh, previously in previous slides uh, only the difference is that in the case of the voltage quadrupler you will take the output across the capacitor c2 and c4 as shown in this figure 
So uh, in this voltage quadrupler circuit, this is the AC transformer. These are the four capacitors with the high type constants, and these are the four diodes, diode D1, D2, D3, which are in ideal in nature. So we will take the output across the capacitors C2 and C4. This is how, how the output is highlighted. Let's discuss the final output of the voltage quadrupler multiplier circuit. So this is the circuit arrangement already we have seen, uh, we did the analysis for this circuit and we have seen that the capacitor C1 is charged with the hold the voltage Vm, so capacitor C3 will hold the voltage of uh, 2Vm with the um, polarity plus and minus, capacitor C2 and C4 they also hold the uh, voltage 2Vm with the corresponding polarity. So the output voltage can be given as uh, by applying the KVL by finding the uh, voltage across the these capacitor terminal that is C2 and C4 as VO minus VC2 minus VC4 equals to 0, both replace the value VC2 and VC4S by 2Vm. So you will get the output voltage as 4 times of the input peak voltage that is 4 times of Vm. So you, uh, this is how the voltage is quadrupled. That's why it is called as the uh, voltage quadrupler multiplier circuit. So this is all about the uh, voltage multiplier circuit. Hope you learned something uh, in this session. Thank you very much.